Okay, today I'll be showing you um, how to set up the battery communication between the Growat 6000 ES Plus and uh, the JK BMS, the new one. So as you can see, the battery shows um, like three percent on the inverter on the battery screen and then i'm going to the application as well so um yeah, hopefully you can see that clearly so you can see it says 93 percent so uh for us to get this the first thing you need to have set up is the bms cable the communication cable so on the jk bms i'm using the pb series the left one these two are meant for battery communication with the inverter the left is for rs485 communication to the best of my knowledge and the right is for the can protocol so i'm using the can protocol to set up to do the battery communication um, so the first thing you have to do is after connecting the cables on the battery itself you connect it to the inverter this is the communication cable under it it says BMS so the other one says RS45 but I'm using the BMS port following the grow arts manual then the next thing you have to do is go to the JK BMS application, connect to your battery, then uh, go to settings, verify your password so that you can modify uh, settings, then advanced settings, you scroll all the way down to, hold on a second, okay, you see where it says CAN protocol, right, then you click on it and then it's come up with a bunch of different options for a protocol that you can select so if you're using day you select the if you're using pylon tech protocol you use that but since i'm using the grower inverter i selected grow at 03 so once you have that set uh set up you come back to the inverter and then you according to this inverter model this is how you do it you hold on enter for a few seconds till it changes the menu then go to option 5 so this is option 5 enter so according to the manual when you're option 5 you have to select this option lithium because that is what you have to use if you want to do communication with the battery so you press enter once you've navigated to lithium enter Oops. so for current protocol you see on the manual it says you can use protocol 51 to 99 for me i'm using 51 because uh, that is what works for me so these are you edit the settings once you select the first number you go edit once you are done you press enter then escape once you set everything up